Hi there ladies and gentlemen, hi, this is Jason from the OP1 channel And yeah, um, today I feel like doing another video um, And uh, today, let's do the video on the FX engines of the OP1 um, Anytime you're on any track um, and you're producing on the OP1 You can always access the um, FX by pressing it's usually nested in the uh, third button um, so that's where the effect slot normally resides so anytime you're in um, tape mode drum synthesizer or synthesizer engine slot number three you can manipulate FX so let's uh, do that <laughs> I've got to uh, say a pre-recorded little bit here. So, let's apply some effects to that. Um, so, here's the raw track. That's just the raw track. No effects applied. So we're going to funk that up with some effects. So um, let's have a wee look at effects. If you um, basically the effects and modulation um, are functions that give the OP1 its unique design and sound curation. The effects elements um, are the same for drum tool, synthesizer and the main output. So in this instance, I'm going to um, be applying effects to the main output of the tracks I've already uh, recorded. Um, so if you look here, um, you've got the keyboard and sequencer. They feed into the sound engine, which in turn, uh, the sound engine could either be synth or drum. Those are routed through the effects. Um, and then those are you know, routed through to uh, the tape mixer EQ and then you can apply effects again on the, you know, the main mixed um, output from the tape and then, you know, apply drive and then that goes to the output. So just to visualize that, 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 that complex uh, little structure there. On the OP1, if you go to shift and the um, mixer button, you can see an overall layout of the inputs and outputs in real time on the OP1. So you can see the little tracks flashing, the tape mixing and everything else. So that gives you like a graphical view of that. So let's uh, rewind that. Go to tape mode. I hit mixer and then if I press um, free, that takes me to the um, effects page. So let's have a look at what's on offer. So I'm on the main track, main um, tape, I hit mixer, I press number three, and then that's the effects that are gonna be applied to the uh, mixer. So now if I press shift and three, You've got a list of um, effects in there. So there's de uh, delay grid, grid, phone, punch, um, spring, nitro, and CWO or cow, um, which is my personal favorite effects on here. So let's look at cow first. As always on the OP1, you've got some crazy um, interface here. Um, so basically, this is showing a graphical representation of a cow. Um, and then as the audio goes in to its gut, um, it's processed by its intestines and then outputted um, via the sideband and everything. Um, it's quite an interesting um, gra graphical interface. So I'm going to play my track. <laughs> And I'm going to start applying the cow. So this is with cow off. I activate it. So now I apply frequency. 
Feedback. Minimal feedback. Feedback at 50%. So that's with effects on. And that's raw with effects off. Effects on. I'll just stop that. So, once you're in um, cow mode, the cow effects processor, so the blue knob controls the, oscill the um, osc oscillator frequency, so the pitch, the green, manipulates the um, distortion signal delay the white one um, controls delay feedback and then the orange uh, controls sideband um, level so I'm going to set everything to zero and then I'm going to apply each one so let's start the track again so I'm manipulating frequency Now I'm manipulating the signal delay. And then this is feedback. That's a very unique um, effect, so I've never heard anything like that on any device before and probably never will hear it again on any other device after this. So that's the cow effect. I believe it's been turned into a VST plugin. Um, someone quote me on that. If I do find it, I'll put it into the description. The next um, effects we have a look at is the delay grid. So if I go shift and free, um, and I'll turn the blue knob to select the um, effects, press free again. So this is a uh, sort of delay. So start the track again. Oh, sorry, let's, let's go over the parameters. So with, um, with delay or delay grid, um, blue, controls the size of the space which the delay is happening. Um, green controls the speed. White controls the feedback and orange or red, depending on how your visual spectrum is. Um, orange is the uh, mix. So let's have a little play so track with no um delay grid on now turned on so i'm manipulating the space with the uh, size of, of delay with the blue button with blue grid now i'm adjusting speed Now I'm just in the feedback. I'll turn it off. Obviously you would apply that to an individual sound as opposed to say a mix, but I'm just doing it, showing you this as a illustration. Uh, next one we're gonna look at is grid. So we looked at grid delay, now we're looking at grid. So shift and grid. What they a nineties um, 
rave uh, group, The Grid. Anyway, showing my age there. <laughs> um, so Grid basically is a three-dimensional feedback plate. So um, you manipulate the um, X, Y, and Z variables. So, you know, hence 3D space. Three, you adjust in three dimensions in order to um, create, um, you know, sort of echo and feedback. So um, this was, once again, play the track. Hit free. So now um, I'm adjusting the X variable. That's at maximum. Now I'm just in the Y variable. And now I'm just in uh, the Z variable. Effects off. So that, I guess, applied to things like pads um, or lead instruments will sort of give a sense of space, um, you know, and, and sort of like spatial spacing of the um, sounds you'd be using. The next effects uh, we're going to be using is phone, another very unique um, OP1 or TJ engineering um, effect. So with um, phone, it's meant to simulate, um, you know, like the kind of low, low-fi, um, low definition, um, you know, bit, bit, um, low bit rate sounds you get when you say, put a piece of music for the phone or something, you know, so it kind of compresses the sound, give it that kind of gritty, um, effect. This kind of effect is brilliant on drums. So um, once you're in um, the phone mode, blue controls the tone, green controls the phonic, white uh, controls the board rate, and orange controls the telematic. Once again, those are kind of very non-descriptive uh, definitions, but let's hear what each one does. So no effects on, so I'm playing tone, I'm applying some phonic, and now I'm just in the board rate. So once again, if you got like some drum beats or um, you know some break beats, especially doing sort of hip hop music, and you want to get that kind of crunchy sound, um, you know, hard hitting beats, phone effect would be quite an interesting effect to apply for that to give it that kind of lo-fi, um, low board rate, um, SP twelve hundred kind of um, sound. Um, next one we're looking at punch. So shift and free and punch. Hope no one punches me. So yeah, so punch is a hard hitting low pass filter. So um, I don't know if you guys ever listen to a lot of like nineties um, disco, French disco, French house. Um, you know, like tracks like um, uh, Stardust music sounds better with you. You know, halfway through the track, they apply a filter and all that kind of stuff. Um, punch is sort of good for that, but also punch is good for you know if you've got like bassy sounds and all the rest, you want to give them like a bit of uh, hard hitting, so filter out the high frequencies and have the low frequencies um, available. So let's start my uh, play my track again. So that's with punch off the pie punch. So frequency, I'm adjusting, cut off frequency, 
Uh, green is applying some punch. Uh, round. Power. So you can hear how it's just emphasizing the lower frequencies of the track. So this would be very good on bass sounds and drum sounds. To give you that low gritty punch, you know, you can almost feel that hitting you in the uh, lower regions, you know. All right, so we done delay, grid, phone, punch. Now it's time for spring. Spring's a bit more of a traditional effect. Um, so once again, on spring, it's a mechanical reverb. Um, you know, a lot of um, old synthesizers and all that kind of stuff use this technique. Had actual mechanical reverb spring um, to give the spring delay. Uh, this is obviously a physic, uh, a computer model off that function so oh sorry there guys <laughs> just knocking my uh, cup of tea over um, so let's play the track with no effects on now let's apply some spring so I'm adjusting the tone Now I'm just in the turns. Now I'm just in dampening. And now I'm adjusting the send. So, um, you know, once again, if you've got pads, leads, um, keyboard sounds, that function would be awesome um, to give, once again, a bit of space, a bit of um, separation in the sounds. Um, normally, you'd be applying these to individual tracks as opposed to a whole mix, but just for a quick illustration, I'm doing it this way. And now we're down to the last effect, which is my personal favourite. Um, your good old nitro, which is a dual band, dual filter, high pass and low pass. So let's do shift and free and nitro. So once again, the, I just love the graphical interfaces on these teenage engineering effects and uh, functions, just crazy. Um, but yeah, it looks like some kind of 1980s Night Rider kind of setup here. Yeah. So, um, so once you're in Nitro, uh, blue is the high pass filter, green is the envelope follower, white is the resonance uh, filter, so the, yeah, the resonance of the filter, and then orange is the low pass filter. So, let's do the mix, and then I'm gonna apply the. Uh, high pass filter first so you see it's filtering all the lower regions and just leaving the high regions now uh, I'm gonna do the resonance so you see it's exciting the higher frequencies and now I'm gonna apply the um, low pass filter I love that effect alright I'll just stop that so um, there's a whole load of other functions, but I'm going to save this one for another video. Um, 
this is like diving deep within the whole uh, matrix of the you know how to manipulate these even further using um lfos and, and so on and so forth um one interesting thing oh actually let's just play that yeah you can also um there's a master um oh let's go back if you press number four whilst so in, you're in the main mix you press oh sorry you're in the main mix uh shift and you hit um you're in the main mixer the main track tape you hit the mixer and then one is the mixing for the channels uh two you can control um the eq so let's just hit play turn effects off so that's just in the low frequency low, low eq medium eq and high eq number three is effects like we mentioned before and number four is the master mixer um, so i can like sort of apply drive uh compression and all the rest to the to the um, whole mix um, so from here you know I can control the drive um, sort of to give it a bit more punch and sort of clarity and all the rest this is just a basic out, um, overview of the effects and modulations and how to manipulate those and how they work on the OP1 um, if you like this video I will sort of dive a bit deeper just you know comment um, in the comment section you know say hey Jay you know, uh, dive a bit deeper and uh, show me how to do the LFOs and all that kind of stuff. And I'll do another video for it. I hope you all, all enjoy this, guys. So, uh, hey, have a happy day. Um, you know, making music during this lockdown with your OP1. All right, bye.